right, today we are going to be discussing our crop yield estimates for corn. Uh, my name is Joshua, I'm a plant and soil science major. Hi there, my name is Haley, and I am also a plant and soil science major. My name is Javier, and I am studying agriculture major. Hi, my name is Gianna, and I am also a plant and soil science major. Okay, so we went out to the, uh, the corn field, and we were told to measure uh, 14 feet into the field, and the stalks were 12, 12 inches, uh, one foot apart. So I went 14 feet in, and then after uh, we measured 14 feet, I counted how many ears of corn there were. And so for the 14 stalks that there were that uh, that were there, there was 18 ears of corn for the 14 stalks. So after that, we broke off three of the uh, the stalks, and then. Yeah, and then three of the stalks we picked were just completely random just to keep it fair as we were calculating. So once we picked our three uh, ears of corn, we went ahead and calculated how many kernels there were on each corn because that's how we're going to measure the yield we're going to get from our corn. So to measure the amount of kernels on a ear of corn, we're going to go ahead and count down the row of corn. So for example, before I broke this one in half, I had counted 33 kernels down and then once you do that, you break the ear in half, and then you go ahead and count how many kernels there are in a row. So in this example, I counted 12, right? So that would be 33 times 12, and then from that number, you get roughly 396 kernels from this one single ear of corn. And then once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process for the other two ears of corn, and then we combine the amount of kernels we got from each ear and added them all up, divided by three, because we only had three ears of corn, and then we got our average of kernels, which was? And the number we got, uh, the average was one, uh, 441, and for the first ear, it was uh, 396, for the second, 464, and for the third, 512. And stay with us here, because it's about to get pretty complicated. Um, so we used that average, and we multiplied that average by 18, which was the number of ears that Josh had counted in the row. And we came out to the number 7,938. Now, kernels. Kernels. And stay with us, because again, it's, it's gonna get really complicated here. We have those 7,938 kernels per the 14 feet that Josh had measured, and we multiply that by the amount of feet that is in a row per acre, which is 43.6 square feet. And we- or one one thousandth of an acre. One one thousandth of an acre. Uh, we then we do a cross multiplication problem where we take the 7,938 uh, kernels per uh, uh, square feet and we have that as a division, a, a fraction, and we put that over 14.5, and we multiply that by 43.6 square feet over one acre, and after performing that problem, we came out to 23,868, and using uh, 23,868 uh, kernels per acre, we divide it by 1,000, which is the um, average um, for kernels in um, a bushel. And we divide it by 1,000, and we came out to uh, 23.8 bushels per acre for what we had measured previously. And do we have any comments? It's important to measure by bushels too at the end because that's how farmers are going to be able to estimate how much, uh, it's, a, it's an easier estimate for farmers basically to figure out how much corn they're going to get per field if that makes sense. So bushels is a much easier like measurement method than say like per square foot or per like 12 feet. And also the reason farmers need to know beforehand how much they're planning on harvesting is it so they can uh, adequately uh, measure their yield and how much money they're going to make and also find a buyer so find out if someone's going to buy all their bushels of corn or say they have to split it up into multiple buyers or uh, certain things like that.
where all these calculations are extremely important uh, and have, as they said, breaking it down uh, for in an easier language for people who need it. Thank you.